Hello my friends and welcome to the channel and today in this quick video I'm gonna show you a quick tip that's gonna help you improve your skills in Adobe Premiere Pro. This is a great skill. If you're a beginner you may not know about this feature. If you're an advanced user then you probably know about it. But I want to show you a quick function of Adobe Premiere Pro that's gonna help you work quicker, improve your workflow. It's gonna make editing much easier. So let's go ahead and start it right now and if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. You're gonna see a lot more Adobe Premiere Pro tip tutorial videos coming to this channel. So make sure you hit that notification bell so you don't miss new videos. And if you find this video helpful, I appreciate if you click that like button. Thank you very much and let's go get started. Okay, so let's go ahead and start our Adobe Premiere. And I'm using currently 2020 version. You might be using some other version, but this function has been available for a while. Start new project. I'm just gonna use the same settings I used before, so click OK. All right, so here's our project. So let's go ahead, I like to keep it on this side. And now we can go ahead and add a couple footages to the project so, so we can have something to work with. And here's our Adobe Premiere, just throw them in the project panel. And here we go. So for example, let's go ahead and add them to the timeline. I'm just gonna remove the audio. You can also just mute it if you don't like it. If you know that you're not gonna use the audio at all because this audio is just wind, as you can see. So definitely I'm not gonna use that audio. That's why I just delete it. But you can mute this track and it's gonna do basically the same thing. And then if you need to use the audio, you can just unmute it. Okay, let's just make it a little bit bigger. And if you wanna see little previews on this timeline, on the video track, you can go ahead to this wrench icon. And then where it says show video thumbnails, you can just click on it. And there's different settings you can actually apply to that. If you wanna see multiple frames instead of just the first frame of the footage, you can do that as well. And for some reason, Adobe Premiere Pro creators decided to put it in a different place. So it's actually located in this menu right here. You just click on it. And here you can choose which thumbnail you want to see. You can choose video head and tail thumbnail. You can just choose video head thumbnail. This is what we got right now. Or you can choose continuous video thumbnail. This is how it's going to be showing. Some people prefer that, but usually the video track is minimized like this. So you don't really see them. But if you make it larger, you can actually see some frames over here. All right, let's get finally to the main point of this video. And what I would like to show you is, for example, like if you're working on a timeline and let's say you like this exact moment of your footage and you want to find it in the project where it is because if you have multiple videos here, right now we only have three videos. So if you go through all of them, you can go through the preview and probably find the one that you need. But if you're working on a bigger project, you might have like a hundred of these files little clips it will be really hard to find where exactly in which video file you have this exact frame so how would you be able to find that well actually it is really easy and in adobe premiere all you have to do is just go to the sequence menu and then go to match frame there we go this exact frame is now open in the source monitor so you know exactly where it is and if you need to work with this media file there you have it, you have it right here. And actually, if you go to the sequence menu right here, you can see that against the match frame, there is a letter F and this is your short key. So if you remember that short key, you can do that real quick. For example, let's go ahead and find this frame right here. So I'm just gonna press F, there we go. If you wanna find this frame, just press F. And also Adobe Premiere has the excellent function for example, if you want to reverse match frame from the source monitor to the program monitor, you can do that as well, as long as that piece of footage is on the timeline. So for example, right now we have all three files on the timeline and they're complete on the timeline. So you can see they're full, they're not trimmed at all. So for example, I'm going to open this media file in the source monitor and I like this frame here. I want to know if this frame is actually located on the timeline and if it's not located, maybe I want to edit. How would I do that? There's a great function called reverse match and it's also located in sequence menu. And right here you see the reverse match frame and the shortcut for it is shift R. You can always redesignate a different letter or shortcut for this function but I do find that shift R is actually pretty good because this function is not used as often as the match frame. But let's go ahead and try it out right now. 
There we go, right now Adobe Premiere has found this same frame from Source Monitor in Program Monitor and indeed this frame is located on the timeline. Okay, well let's say if we trim this file a little bit and then I go over here and I want to do the same thing. I want to reverse match frame and find it on the timeline and see if it's actually on a timeline. So I go to the sequence menu, go reverse match frame, click on it and nothing happens. So this means that this frame is not located on the timeline and if I do want to include it, I need to put it on the timeline. So there we go. This is how it's done. It's pretty simple. It's straightforward. And you know the knowledge is what makes your Adobe Premiere work much faster and easier and more pleasant. So make sure you keep learning new things so you're going to actually enjoy more making videos. I hope you find this tip helpful. Please let me know in the comment section below. And if you're new to the channel, don't forget to subscribe. Click the notification bell so you don't miss new videos. And I'm going to see you guys in the next video. Bye bye. Oh, 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 oh,